Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Austro. I restarted my game, and I got sound. You hear the birds chirping in the background, because I'm in a forest over here. But, yep, yeah, for some reason it would not give me sound last time, and now I've got it. So, harvest is coming in. We've got our wheat bundles over here, and we've got potatoes over there. Potatoes are happening over here very slowly. Uh, we've got two others that are on their way out from somewhere right there. And they are using this as a path. Nice. That's starting to, to look a little more like I was hoping it would. Okay, that's good. But let's, let's see. Well, let's kick the speed to two and then I want to get it to three soon. How are we doing over here? We still have five over here. They're starting to bring the boats back out again thatch nobody and nobody in these buildings at the moment but we don't really need them we have almost well we can even take you out we've got almost a thousand nails there so what truly is needed i'd say one person back into here would be important yeah one there five four five it'll bounce back and forth the trader did get put in and we want to hire a manager here and i would like to be a lady if i could she can do the job just as fine, but leave a leave a, uh, a brawny dude to do other lifting jobs. But that is speed two, and we're taking a long time because all the ladies are hired out over here right now. All right, let's just turn you off. Otherwise, do I release a building project and risk losing fish? Wow. Well, okay, one just re-employed there. Hmm... Actually, okay. Well, okay, so few ladies are working right here is because they're all on a official forced break. Can I sneak one of them in right now? Uh, not that button. Let's right-click that instead. No. No. Okay, we'll wait until snow hits. That's the only way to guarantee it. All right, then speed three and let's get to snow. I'm, I'm worried about releasing any of these. Till I've caught up on all the fish that we didn't get early spring. I think that's going to do a pretty good job. All right, middle of October. And how are we going to do here? We've only got one and a half fields left. So this number of fields with this number of workers has worked out. Uh, growth, we only got to a little over half. Same thing. So even a, I'm thinking that was close to a 15, never really finishes the... Uh, the growth cycle don't know what these were but these last two had like this had the longest amount of time this one planted first and it's going to harvest last and that's as far as we got okay so smaller quantities apparently is the way to go unless there's numbers that are going to be tweaked later what do we make of that Shadows that, that haven't left? That could be. I think there's something that needs to be reset there. Yeah, there's a shadow down underneath the plant that's supposed to be taken away. Maybe this is where I restarted the game and it somehow got stuck from the last save. Hmm, we started over here though. Good. So once this is done, though I will try to sneak this in one more time. And you are a, you're a dude. Okay, we'll wait. Well, I've got to wait till the end of the of bringing everything in too, don't I? Yeah, because they're still going to be employed here as laborers. <laughs> I'll just keep sneaking this in. Yep, nope, it's got. I got to wait. All right. Now, when they're done here, they will also pop in here and do some of this. So, waiting for jobs, we've got nobody. All right, everybody is busy. We've still got four over here. We've got 2.2 fish. Here comes another one. Grab the other boat and go. Another one. Take it off. Hmm. Just kind of watching the day-to-day -day right now. Not much more I can do until snow hits. I can get in here and listen to the birds. How is our forest doing? You guys are clearing out this area. Okay. Probably no point in going in and planting more trees at this point we're, we're we're doing fine there well 
In that case, take it back down to two and let's think about other things here. You know, until the granary is in, I'm going to have a hard time envisioning what this area should look like. I think so. All right, back to three. <laughs> I was thinking we'll do a little decorating, but I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah. What goes on down here? You know, I wonder if this would have been a place to have put the trading post. What happens right here? Almost all these other buildings are associated with animals or crops, so they all belong that way. So I guess just a few more houses over here to finish off this uh, this row would work. Yeah, I don't see anything here that really, really works. November's almost here. The All the crops got in. All right, so we didn't lose anything to snow. So we're just going to haul the stuff in now, which means we're already starting to show up in here, potatoes, which means these are starting to get potatoes stocked. Perfect. And with that, we're back. This has officially ended, or it will end when the snow finally... No, you guys are calling it done. All right, so we're shutting all of you guys down. Let's rehire everything else. Uh, slow it down so you're not unemployed for too long. You're going to go there. Don't really need that one. Let's see. Already, already is one in here. Let's put a second one in there. And try one more time. Now let's go put up some construction first. Let's continue you, the cow shed, and the well. All the way out to this house as well. You and you. That didn't work. There we go. Do we get this guy in too? They're going to want to do it first. Well, let's wait. Let's force them to do all the other things. Give them a little bit of time. See if everybody is officially employed. There and or there. No, it's just there. So at this point, we don't have anybody looking for work though. Let's go to try this one more time. See if we can get a, a lady to, uh, to jump into here. But now... They're all still bringing in the crops. Okay. You could have either. Yeah, there's guys in there. And I can't choose to use carts or not. No, they've got to hand carry it all. I see. Okay. I wish there was a way to punch an entrance in right here. It would really help the production out of these two fields. But I cannot do that. You can be employed, though. We are definitely ready for you. In fact, we can hire two people for that one. What else is needed now that it's winter time? Over there, carpentry, nothing else has been ordered. All right, you're done with that. Or do we want to go ahead and order the last? Yeah, let's get the last one ordered. We'll go ahead and do that. One worker in there, get that done. Um, there's no reason for any other carts around here, right? Not really. Though we could put a clay over here. You know, that might be wise to finally take advantage of what we try to take advantage of over there. If you went in and did not need a tree cut down, something like that. Now, for these houses, these guys can go here to do it. All right, that's good. Otherwise, 12, 200, 200, you guys are basically done until we start really hauling everything in, which I'm hoping is what's going to happen soon. One laborer. I want to see five laborers all bringing supplies to this house. And if you, if the house plan is only calling for one item at a time, then you know jump into the next one. Well, we have a worker in the next one. That's good because there are some supplies sitting over here. This guy right here could use. You know, we can be doing a lot of this simultaneously. I know they'll all want to do this if I'd let them. They want to, you know, jump through the queue and go to the one that's closest. Otherwise, we still have a lot of pieces being brought in. Are we working here yet? No, we don't have any workers yet. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to speed three. And just let this happen. Is that really the first house? It is the first house. Okay. Hop in there and just watch you do your thing. Now they're all working here. Uh huh? All right, this one, not at the moment. This guy, 
Still not employed. Hmm. Really want to get that flower going. We just need houses now. We have enough food on the books. How are we doing budget-wise? 700 in the treasury. So we lost 173 last year, which was 1723. Huh, I thought the I thought it started at 1700. I guess it started at 1720. Okay. Hmm. What else can we get out of all this information? Fine there. Starting to get some kids. What do we have in the way of kids? Unemployed, unemployed. That's not good. Funds, 30. We've got a carpentry and a farm. Funds, 65. One mill and a laborer. Funds, 25. Unemployed. But we've got a job position over here. But you kind of have to go through your timer to eventually be part of the cowshed construction. I see. You are... How far? Thatch hasn't arrived yet, so we're not going to complete this time. Need to get some more wood in here, too. So wood is doing what now that we're going at warp speed? Carpentry is done. So you're out. Logs, 13. And we're doing great on all of that. Okay. Really, yeah, I need laborers. I need people just grabbing all of these materials and hauling them out of here. Fill all of these uh, construction sites. They are using the clay over here. That's nice. And you're putting it where? Dropping off there and here, and then putting that away. Hmm. Would it be beneficial to get more carts out here? Probably not. That's kind of a middle point between here and whatever is going on. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Now you are bringing lumber in there. So you grabbed, you grabbed carts from here too. Interesting. I keep wanting to go here to look at my, uh, look at the, the wood quantities. I guess the buildings look very similar. And we're still bringing things in. Can I get a manager yet? Nope. Nope. Can't do it. Just got to do it before March 1st happens. We might not be able to do that. It's possible. Don't have enough hauling in. We'll see. We may get one week in there. I need to reset what all the fields are going to be anyway. So let's slow it down and think about that. This field over here. What is our field one? This is our field one, right? Right there. That's our field one. How best to do this so that it's going to be easier to remember that? We start up in here. Actually there and work around. Let's do that. This. Boy, that was the hemp. Is that you? Yeah. This right here is wheat. So wheat, you're number two. This potato. Probably... Anyway, the hemp? Did I not move it? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, I'm scrolled. No, I'm not. You are there. But was that potato? I guess it was potato. The hemp was over there. Ah, and there's still a hemp or two left. Okay, okay. We're we're back. So we're starting here. So you're the last one. So, hemp, you're down at the bottom. You're down there. Okay. So, that one. And prior to you, scroll back up. All right. So, we have some sense of, of order here. All right. So, your field one will go clockwise. 12 on the clock. This is the easiest one to get done. Well, you know, that would kind of guarantee that it got done, though. The best growth. It's the easiest one to get to. All right. I was thinking him last because he's easiest. Get to the harder ones first. But, all right. I'll do that. You head up 
to... Alright, where are you now? You're that one? Right there. Okay, there. Alright, so you're the first one. What do I want to put in here? Now, it said... Hire workers for plowing. Where's the one talks about what that the manager automatically... Let's see here. Each crop type specific. Uh, change the crops winter manually or hire a manager to allow for automatic rotation with up to six slots. I've never actually seen that done. And I hate to lose next year's crops because the conditions are not correct. But I do remember what was in each one before. I guess they're all active. We have a manager. What's going to happen there? And can I get a manager in here yet? Let's go up to speed two. No. The same dudes. At least the same pictures. I can't get a lady in here. Hmm. Well. I guess we'll wait for these last few things to go in. Actually, it's just these three. So, three trips and we're done. There. Oh, four, five. Okay. We got the last of the hemp over there. So you are four and you are done. Higher. Nope. Speed three. Nope. Nope. <laughs> You're driving me nuts, game. Ah. Uh, Okay, cow shed is in. Alright, this just isn't going to work. So I'm not going to get a lady in there. It's got to be done in this window of time, though. You were easy to get. That wasn't the cow shed. What was that? That was a house. And they moved in. We have more people who need a job, right? Am I incorrect here? Can you not hire... A female in this position? I thought we did last time. But they are sure fire, uh, fighting me. Okay, let's... We're on speed two. I don't want to lose my month here. Um, what do I want here? we got six women looking for a job. Okay. Cow shed is next. We've got uh, laborers bringing supplies there. Great. Manager. Interesting. Maybe I can't put a lady into the, the trading post. Maybe I'm just remembering that wrong. Maybe they can be managers for everything else, but there's some kind of a rule about that one building. Because I have fought this and fought this, and I definitely have qualified, eligible people to take the, the position. But not giving it to me. Last try, then we'll just leave it. Um, Because I do want that there to be able to grab whatever uh, trade deals randomly come in on their own. And probably best to go ahead and get this employed and get some potatoes in here. What quantity? Let's see. We've got 25. Wow. Wow. Now, I doubled up on the potatoes. I really wanted those in. Wheat's over there. We're making wheat, and we have flour, which was reserved for folks to start filling these up. So flour, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. It's probably time for the granary. I'd say we're getting there. You were the town hall. Granary could probably be in before then. Yeah, this one I really wanted to get going, and we've got more construction happening. There we are. Though you're not on the job site at the moment. Thaw is happening, and and Yarima is our manager. And that's just what we're going to have to live with. Okay. So only one person employed over here. And that's probably... Yeah, we'll, we'll let that fluctuate. This I want to get going. Okay, with three from the beginning. Over here... We are overloaded, so one of you go away. Don't need anybody there. Don't need anybody there. Thatch. We really... 
I'll leave you there just because I'm going to forget. Well, take that back. You need... I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five little spaces in there. Does that uh, correlate? Thatch, five. It does. So each of these tiny little spaces must be an individual piece of building material. Interesting. So three and three. So we really don't need this employed because we haven't got anything queued up anymore that requires 21 thatch. You know, we're get all of our construction done. We've got queued up right now and we'll still have thatch left over. So that's not needed. So there's plenty of people available to fill in all these gaps, including this one. We have one out there and we're officially in the season. So let's get this guy finished. Thatch is waiting for it to even be called up, looking for laborers. Hmm. Back to speed three, and the well is starting. Okay. Granary. Let's get that laid out. What was that? The well? That was the well. Nice. Probably did not take very much in the way of uh, supplies or or uh, labor. But let's get the granary in, which is over here, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking you are the kind of building that goes over here. And we've got some pretty substantial roads going on. Do we want to face that in or out? Now, I'm thinking everything faces out, but what does go in the very center? That I don't know. What do you look like in the inside? <clears throat> and will you fit better with all those roads? Kind of like that. Now, where's the back of, of the... Okay, those guys are right there. All right. So if I were to stay right in there, try to straddle the two natural roads that have formed. Right there. You're going there, <clears throat> and you're moving into that space. This well is going to be fine for now. So we don't have to get this one in just yet. More houses in would be nice. But this guy especially would be nice. So we can get employed and start bringing in the supplies. These are the ones from last year that never got put away. Yeah, we just need more people. That's probably what it comes down to. Okay. Auto save. Two people in here yet? No. What do we have out over here? We do have our three. Well, do I go to a fourth or not? Let's go to a fourth. Just make sure there's plenty in reserve. Once the granary's in and we can see the stocks all coming in, then it'll be a little easier to keep track, right? Fish does show up in this list, and there's only three. Okay, so three quantities, whatever that quantity is. You are done. Good. Hire at least one. Now, what I want to figure out, I didn't get to use the cow shed enough last time awaiting hay. Okay, there's my answer. How much will this stock up prior to a cow ever showing up? Now I know. Okay. I would say let's make sure to get... Where are we over here? All right. To get a plow going by this year. And actually, let's slow down. What happened to the auto rotation here? You were hemp, and now you still are. You were potato. Nothing auto rotated. So what is it with the manager being able to do this all on her own? It doesn't seem to work. It gives me more, you know, control. I think when she's not there, I lose a lot of what I see right here. But there was no automatic. What? Uh, go back to this again. Plows help. Hire a manager to allow for automatic rotation. But nothing changed. And these are not going to function. The sowing is done in all of them. And we're not going to get these crops in. You are sunflower. Sunflower cannot change during the season. Okay. Sunflower. I can't really even bring up what sunflower requires, huh? Hmm. Is that what's in the field? Big red? Not a big red. Okay. So, well, not a big red. Okay. So that is what's in the field right now. Ha. Huh. Yeah, we're not going to have a good crop this time. 
because I didn't put in what really matched the field's nutrient levels. And I didn't get the sense there was any kind of an automatic rotation in there. So automatic has a slightly different definition than what I was giving it. Let's put it that way. Speed back up again. And what is next? Just buildings? I think just buildings. Town Hall can go back. Watch you going. And I'm waiting for some sense of a trade deal going in. Potatoes. We never got to here. We had 25 available. Let's bring in 10 of them. Potato. Worker. And worker by cart. I noticed something here. I don't think it was this way when we first started this series back at episode one. But now the market stalls automatically are set up for one worker by hand. Figuring it's going to be a woman. And one laborer by cart. So that a laborer can bring larger quantities in when, when necessary. So it seems like originally it was worker by hand, worker by cart. That was the original setup. So that's defaulting to what I would normally set it to if I was going to do it by, uh, do it manually. You guys, three out of four are working here. One's working there. Uh, labor, we've got one woman looking for a job. I would love to have you manage something. But I'm hesitant to... Two women looking for a job. All right. And no men looking for a job. So this is your chance. This is it. No. So I guess a woman is not uh, qualified to work in this particular job position. I guess that's what the game is is trying to trying to tell me. That's crooked. Yeah, that's crooked. I'm assuming the lines are straight. Okay. I must have done that in the snow, didn't I? I think I did. Couldn't see the ground. Yeah. All right, working on this. We're at speed two right now. Bringing in supplies, laborers. What do I need to be doing? I could send four these guys and spend 30. They will eventually come to me. But if I could get that done this one time, just to get the cattle coming in, let's do it. I'm not going to pay to have these guys do it. They should come to me. Here's our horse taken off. We should see a wagon coming in randomly whenever they wish to. Alright. Over here, one worker. Alright, let's kick that speed back up again. Get the uh, construction projects done. And just kind of keep an eye on things and see how it's going. You have made it almost to there now can i change speeds while this is happening i can good let's get you there and messenger has arrived I click again i gotta click again cows all right let's bring in two oxen now do we bring in more now we could just get this done and, you know be done with it i have to bring in one bull and two cattle this should be cows right here that's going to cost us 70 Oh, I did four. I see the bar represents something different there. Interesting. So that's 50 out of our 638. So we're only three and a half years in, and we're already, half of our budget is gone. That hurts. We've got to get some production buildings going here real soon before we hit zero. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. We'll just let the, the bull breed the cows and make more. Deal. And for that matter, let's sell you 10 potatoes. Potatoes, let's sell you 10. And that made up for the for the cattle. Yeah, we got to kind of uh, balance these out a little bit, don't we? But let's take that deal. All right. They are on their way. And so they're importing cows and we're exporting potatoes. Have we brought them in? 4.3 out of it. Let's put somebody else in here and get that going a little bit faster. Maybe. We'll get as much of those 10 as we can. Was it 10? It was 10, right? 10 is 80, so that's 8 per. Whereas these are 10 per. Yeah, okay. I don't know what quantity of potato that truly is. Yeah, Semi-truck load of potatoes equals one cow? I don't know. 
All right, well, foundations are going in and framework on that one. And Granary is looking for laborers. You're right over there. These two are paused. Let's think about production. Sunflower oil is a place to go, as well as more houses in here to do that. Let's, let's head into this area for our production. Um, sunflower is right there. Oil workshop. We could also, I want to get into the, the leather and tanning and shoemaking. That's very, a very profitable run there. But we don't have the cattle to handle it right now. So may as well get into what we can handle, which is hemp. So let's do this guy. Here they are. In fact, let's take a peek here. All the cattle are coming at once. Nice. Let's slow it down so we can watch that happen. But where do we put this guy? Like so, pathways, I gotta think about pathways. That, and it's the supplies come out of there and it goes to the granary over there. Where'd those cows go? Ah, uh, they under that roof. There's somebody over here, but they're not under that roof. So they're inside one of the buildings. Yeah, it's a mystery. Where do I wanna put them? Oh, use any fallow field? Don't have a fallow field. Yeah, pause. I didn't think about that. Because it didn't auto-rotate, I would have left a fallow field. Yeah. Cattle, where do you live? Where do you live? Hmm. Where do I not want to build other buildings is kind of what's going through my mind right here. They're coming to get the potatoes. Um. Just randomly, boom, boom, boom. Doesn't have to touch this. They will go into whatever field we want them to. Don't want cattle near the houses, which means we're going to have cow houses, houses over here. Cattle does seem like it could be further out. It could. And it wouldn't uh, truly matter because there isn't a distance issue. Okay. So if you were to split this like so and pop out like that, Let's try you again. There. Hmm. Trying to get that door. Let's spin around this way. Alright. Right about there. And split the difference. You're going from that fence post to this fence post. But I can't tell what is straight. So to this fence post and something like that so it's the same amount off as everything else we're not matching the the field over here i don't need it very big something like that okay you're now associated with a cow shed and or you could become a crop field for this farm once in a while when something else is fallow okay we could do that we can swap things around if i remember to do it in the winter time all right so you now have a field assigned to you cow shed uh, water is in, hay is in, we've got five cattle available. Why do you say, oh, we can turn the bull into an ox if we choose to? Okay, the other ones are already oxes. All right, get you back up and running again, and let's call for a plow. There they go. Uh huh, plow. Order a plow. Ordered. Need to get somebody working back over here. And one. And you already have the uh, the wood in stock. Okay. So next time we should be able to see that. In fact, let's slow it down and I think pause it here. So that, because I'm hitting my, my half hour. So we're going to see someone come over and pick up the two oxen and go and build the uh, plow. And I kind of like to, like to see that happen. As well as you are... Cart is empty. Eh? Are you one of mine? Oh, you're one there. As well as this guy selling off the rest of our potatoes so let's call this one done it's been noble rambler and i will catch you next time folks bye, -bye.